Hello, and welcome back to the Armchair Traveler. My name is Judy, and I love travel, history, and finding out how people live. Are you thinking about spring? I certainly am, because my brain forever visualizes something like the photo on the left, but this morning I was confronted with the reality of the photo on the right. Today I'm going to introduce you to an Aperol Spritz, an extremely refreshing Italian drink which I first encountered in Milan, Italy. This is a very easy recipe as long as you remember the proportions, which are three, two, and one. Go ahead and write down the ingredients while I tell you how I came to meet this aperitivo. I first encountered this aperitif on a very hot day in Milan, Italy. I was staying in an apartment and the owner refused to turn on the air conditioning. It was on about the sixth floor, so I figured it would be safe to open the window. How wrong I was. The next morning, my eye was swollen shut from some kind of bug bite. I've always assumed it was a mosquito, but I don't really know. After I drowned my sorrows in cough, and use some cold compresses on my eye, I, I headed out to find a pharmacy. I don't speak much more than shopping Italian, but all I really had to do was find the pharmacist, point to my eye, and say, aiutame, per favore, and she got the general idea. I was afraid to take any pills, but I did buy some insect repellent and some variety of cream, which had the benefit of stopping the itch without stopping my brain from working. I was on foot, I was hot, I was annoyed, and as I was walking back to the apartment, I strolled past a combination bar cafe and saw a couple of very stylishly dressed Italian matrons sitting at a table drinking something out of large wine glasses, complete with ice cubes and a slice of orange. orange. The concoction was orange as well. It looked cool and refreshing, and if I'm honest, I was neither. I went in, I smiled at the waiter, and I was seated. I asked the waiter, are you Tommy? Per favore, che cose? The answer was an Aperol spritz. When I got one, I sipped it, and afterwards I felt much better. Gather up your ingredients and put a couple of ice cubes in your glass. I suggest, if you think you might do this more than once, investing in a small half-size measuring cup, the kind that holds four ounces or so and is marked off by the ounce. Trying to measure this out in a standard one cup measuring cup is actually asking for trouble. Or def Step one is to measure three ounces of Prosecco and put it in the glass. Then add two ounces of Aperol. Then top it off with one ounce of sparkling water. Add an orange slice if desired, a straw, and enjoy.